Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is uh, just about 8 o'clock, Friday the 4th of August, 2023. Uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit right now in Jacksonville, Florida. Humidity's 89%, uh, 27 degrees Celsius. Feels like 91-ish, I think that's what I was gonna say, 90. So, bit of a warm one. Uh, it rained most of the day. It's supposed to keep. It's supposed to be raining still. Um, there's clouds in the sky. Radar showing more rain, etc., etc., etc. But anyway, I've already done <laughs> my riding and rambling video. But when I went to post it, it just it didn't look right. So, yes, we're driving off the curb. There we go. Uh, so, it, like the video itself was all messed up. The audio was all messed up. I don't know what happened. So, anyway. Uh, the other videos that I did turned out okay. I don't know. But I think I think I think I'm gonna head to a different Dollar Tree. I was just at one didn't have any of the dips that I was looking for. So, I started to head over this way to go to one. I'm not sure if I want to go to that one because it entails crossing over the road. <laughs> uh, stopping at a traffic light and going across and then doing the same thing coming back. Plus, it's only a couple minutes up the road. So I can come around, I can go down this way, go around and come in the back way to the other Dollar Tree that I normally shop at and try that one out. The one I just went to is the one I used to normally shop at. It's also by the Walmart where I get my prescriptions and all that stuff. But, uh, just... When I got out on the road today, I was like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo." The one up here is only a couple of minutes further from my house, if that. So, they're pretty much equal distance. But, now I have to circle back and go try the other one anyway. Oh man. First world problems, right? So, whew. Update on my back window. It's still doing okay. It's hanging out there. Um, it rained pretty good today. It held up. So, that's a good thing. Didn't seem to let any water through. That I can see, so that's a good thing. But without the window closing, my alarm doesn't set properly, so that's not a good thing. Looked around at a couple of, well, called around to a couple of wrecking yards, and nobody's got the window that I'm looking for. <sighs> so, I ended up having to just wait for a little bit because you never know when they're going to come in. But then again, I mean, it just could turn out that we find another trailblazer with all the, all the right gets that we need and 
go ahead and get it. If the price is right. I have all kinds of spare parts then. Of course, I've also thought about converting one into a camper. Like a tow behind camper. Um, leave all four wheels on it. Put a put a tow hitch on the front. Convert the engine compartment into a storage space. Strip all the interior out and make it you know give it a bed and um, a TV and stuff like that. And yeah, it should be good to go, right? I mean, it's a flat tow four wheel. Might even just leave the steering hooked up like an old, like a like a, a farmer wagon. It wouldn't hurt as long as you got the you got the wheels set in the right position. Uh, I don't know. Just another one of those pie in the sky type ideas that run through my head. Lord knows I get a lot of those. Uh, uh, don't be doing that, dude. Definitely not tired. I slept like a log last night. Once I actually got to sleep. I fell asleep at like 3 o'clock. A little bit before three o'clock, I was watching a video, and uh, not saying much about the video, I guess, but I ended up like waking up and there was something else playing, and I don't know, tried scrolling back a couple times. So I, I must have watched like, I must have run through three or four other videos without realizing it. I don't usually have my my settings set up to just run the next one in line. But I don't know what happened. So anyway, I woke up like 4:30, something like that. I thought, well, this really this really stinks. I'm not going to get back to sleep. I didn't. It was 7:30 ish before you know I started yawning and turned everything off. But then I slept until noon, so that was a good thing, right? That's like five hours, four and a half hours, something like that, before I had to get up. And it was a little afternoon. I went and laid back down again. And it was after 3 o'clock before I got up. So, I don't know. Altogether, probably 11 hours or more in the past 24. So, uh, craziness. Well, I'm not taking anything, oh, excuse me, any sleep aids. So, I think I'm actually sleeping better. It seems like it at any rate. Although there are times I have a little difficulty fall, falling asleep. Oh man. The hiccups are hitting me. Whoa, 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 whoa. turned yellow. <laughs> uh, so, last night, um, I found, you know, the wire, wire shelving for closets and whatnot. I found five of those. They're like seven foot long. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. Maybe just go ahead and sell them, but I was thinking as I was picking them up, I really don't need these. Why am I doing this? 
but I did it anyway. And I guess worst comes to worst, I'll just take them down and put them down on the trash, which they're charging me for now. So there's that. I told my daughter, I said, you know, I, I fill up like one shopping bag full of trash a week. If that, and they want to charge me $50 a month to get rid of it. That's insane. I told her, I said, I'm going to go out and start picking up stuff on the curbs just to come back and get my $50 worth. <laughs> she said, don't do that. I said, well, then don't charge me. Because that's ridiculous. I'm not the one overfilling that dumpster. And I guess they have to, they can't just charge one, they have to charge everyone. I don't know, put a scale there, charge us by weight. You know? Um, I don't know how that would work. In fact, I doubt it would work. So let's see, should I do Aldi or Dollar Tree? Maybe I'll go in and see what kind of dips and spreads Aldi has. I don't think they have my Kansas spray cheese anymore. So. We'll check there, and if they don't have what I want, I can always go across the street and uh, hit Dollar Tree over there. I still got plenty of time. So, uh, That gas has gone way back up again this summer, hasn't it? We're pushing four dollars in areas. This is three dollars and sixty cents here for regular. Like holy smokes. That's like thirty cents higher than it used to be. Is Aldi still open? Doesn't look like there's anybody here. Nope, it looks like they closed at 8 p.m. So, uh, onward to Dollar Tree. Closed at 8 o'clock. What the heck? Nothing for it but to do it, right? And of course, I missed this traffic light. So I'm going to be sitting here for a little bit. I could have gone across down there. I should have gone across down there. <laughs> Hindsight 2020. Oh, what do we got going on? All right, 15 minutes. I think we're going to go ahead and close this out here. I'm not going to sit here and babble while I'm sitting in a traffic light. I just get aggravated about that. So um, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down, thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they ain't, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next press. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Salachi, y'all.